Welcome back. This video focuses on the psychodynamic therapy, dream analysis. We'll go over the aims of dream analysis and the main components of the therapy. In psychodynamic therapy, the purpose of dream analysis is to uncover unconscious thoughts, feelings, and unresolved conflicts. By understanding these hidden parts of ourselves, we can work through inner struggles and gain insight into our mental health. Freud proposed that dreams are often a form of wish fulfillment. This means our dreams can represent our deepest, often hidden, desires and urges. For example, if someone dreams of flying, it could be a wish for freedom or escape from a stressful situation. If someone dreams of being reunited with a loved one, it could reflect a desire for emotional closeness or to resolve unfinished business. Dream analysis involves two key concepts, manifest content and latent content. The manifest content is what we remember, the storyline, characters and settings in our dream. It's the surface level of the dream. On the other hand, latent content is the hidden underlying meaning the symbolic messages from our unconscious. The goal of dream analysis is to interpret the manifest content in order to reveal the latent content and understand what our unconscious mind may be trying to tell us. Freud identified several processes in dream work, which is how the mind disguises latent content into manifest content. Let's go through each one with examples. Displacement. In displacement, intense emotions or desires are shifted from one object or person to another. For example, if someone is angry with their boss, they might dream of having an argument with a friend instead. This shift disguises the true source of emotion, making it safer for the dreamer to experience. Condensation This is when multiple thoughts, ideas or people are combined into a single image or symbol in a dream. For instance, a dream might feature a person who looks like a blend of two important people in the dreamer's life, symbolizing combined feelings or complex relationships with them. Symbolization. Abstract thoughts or forbidden ideas are represented by symbols. An example might be dreaming of a locked door which could symbolize hidden thoughts or emotions the dreamer feels they cannot express. Secondary elaboration. This is when, upon waking, the mind fills in gaps or smooths out the storyline of the dream to make it more logical and coherent. Essentially, it's a way of making sense of a dream after it's over. For example, someone might dream of being lost but in the process of recalling the dream, they add details like specific streets or landmarks to make it feel more realistic. Together, these mechanisms transform raw desires or emotions into a dream that's less threatening, which means the dreamer can process these feelings more comfortably. So, what role does the therapist play in dream analysis? The therapist is a guide who helps the client explore and interpret their dreams. After listening to the client's description of a dream, the therapist has to reverse the dream work process to uncover the symbols and patterns that might reveal hidden aspects of the client's mind. Rather than simply giving answers, a good therapist will ask questions and encourage the client to make connections between the dream and their waking life. To sum up, dream analysis is a technique used within psychoanalysis to uncover unconscious thoughts or conflict that could be contributing to poor mental health. By uncovering the latent content of a dream by reversing the dream work process, a therapist can help the client understand how their unconscious mind may be influencing their mental state. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ask questions in the comments.